So I've decided to do an overview of this robot. And yeah, so what I have uh, now, this is a uh, standard battery. I bought it from a music store. It needs an amplifier or something. So uh, it, I actually have been using this battery for over seven months and I haven't charged it yet. So that's how good it is. Uh, this is what it is. If you want to see that. Uh, then there's this little board here that kind of distributes the power from it to different areas. Beside that, I have my Beta 4.2H uh, drive. And that has been repaired because I blew up the last one accidentally because of a, another faulty board, which I will get to in a minute. I've started to put lights on things now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna power some of the uh, electronics on. So as you can see, there's a power indicator on this. Um, going around the corner a little bit, I've got connected by ethernet, of course, because ethernet is my friend. I decided to go standard with everything. So um, ethernet is the standard for data transfer across the entire robot. This here is just a little board that's going to make stuff light up, which I will um, show everyone later once it's working properly, it does, as it doesn't work yet. This is obviously a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the onboard computer on this thing is fantastic. I've built a little case for it, and it just kind of pops up like that. Ta-da! Beside that, underneath... I have a uh, power supply board that I built for the Raspberry Pi. And this is connected to USB to this battery, which I'll get to in a second. But this also has a little power switch there. Turns on the Pi. I get the Pi booting up. I am going to shut it off. I know it's terrible, but I'm just going to kill the power. Um, unplug that up top. This is the data transfer board. The data transfer board. Uh, like I said, I'm using Ethernet, but the Raspberry Pi is actually a 26 pin uh, connector here. So I've got this converter that goes up here into parallel, and then parallel I built this board that converts everything into not actual Ethernet, but I'm just using it because they're standard cables, they're easy to make, and I can make them any length I want. So that's what I've done with that. I've got room for expansion as you can see I'm only using two at this point and uh, this is my only double layer board I've got copper on the top and on the bottom but I think I did pretty good on that uh, next part here is obviously the second battery this battery is separate from the first one because uh, it'll power the digital stuff like the Raspberry Pi for example and uh, the reason I want it separate is so that when the motors go on it doesn't drain, the motor's draining all that current, doesn't disrupt the pie. I want it to be nice and clean. So, uh, this battery is actually from a 15 inch MacBook Pro. I got it, it's a defective battery, but it was the, actually the electronics that were defective. So the battery itself is perfectly fine. I wired it up to this board here, which is a um, beta 1.4 of my, uh, circuit boards for the uh, for the charging of the battery and for the powering of the Raspberry Pi. Then the last bit here is underneath just you know a little bit of an example here is uh, I actually use drills that they're, they're identical except in color and uh, those are the motors and it got quite a lot of torque it pushes stuff around no problem uh, just in beta testing of everything and uh, yeah so that's uh, most of the robot at this point, and uh, see you around.